Hello everybody. Hope you've had a good week, ready for the weekend. And I hope you're really happy with the week you've had at school. It could be very strange now because of the way we're living at the moment, because of the pandemic. But I really hope that you've been learning some good lessons. You still be able to see some friends. And although it's different, who knows what the weekend will bring. But today, I'm going to talk about a subject that you wouldn't think normally that God would want us to do. And this is good. This is called mourn. It's the, the blessing that God gives us when we mourn someone. And when I say mourn, it's not the same as good morning. It's a, a different meaning. And it, you put a U after the O and before the R and it becomes a different word and a different meaning. And basically it means that we're sad and it's how we feel and what we do when somebody we love passes away like a member of our family or a really really good friend or a favorite pet and it's something that we feel deep inside when they're no longer with us and this is different because it's something that goes against everything that God normally does for us you know he, he brings us joy brings us happiness he brings us good things but he also wants us to have this feeling when somebody we love passes away. He wants us to share our feelings. He wants us to cry. He doesn't like us keeping it all bottled in and pretending it's not happening, pretending that we're all right. Um, it's something that we need to go through. and We all go through it, every single one of us. And the story we heard earlier about Bellamy the bee, who'd mourning his friend Bernard when Bernard passed away, and he kept it buried deep inside and it wasn't good at all. It was, um, it made him feel completely different and he started to get angry and not being his normal self because he was holding everything in. But what he needed to do was let it all out, you know, to cry and to tell people how he feels. Because in the Bible, God says to be joyful with those who are joyful, but to mourn with those who mourn. So he wants us to come alongside each other so that we can be together. I remember, it's 11 years ago now, that my twin brother passed away. And I remember the night before the funeral, when we went to visit the funeral home. And we went into this room, it was beautifully presented, it was a lovely comforting room, peaceful. And in the middle was this coffin, and I knew that my brother was inside this box, this coffin. And I saw my mum with her arms over the coughing, sobbing, 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 really crying. Because it's very unusual for us, you know, for a parent to see their child pass away. Normally it should be the other way around. So it's very difficult for me, but all I could do was what came natural to me. And so I wrapped my arms around my mum and I cried with her. And something happens when you do that you know it makes you feel i don't know more at peace i suppose or it enables you to function properly afterwards because you've let it out you you cried and cried and cried and um yes it's really strange it's not the normal thing that you think god wants us to do but he does he wants us to be able to to be able to feel and to express how sad we are because it goes it goes with everything else that god gives us he gives us all these incredible feelings that we have as a human you know when we feel joyful when we feel brave when we feel courageous sometimes when we feel angry but he also wants us to feel sad because he gives us those feelings for us as human beings to express and to be with everybody else before I go on, let me, I just want to get a photograph of my twin brother and, and show you who he is. This it's a photograph of us when we were children. Can you guess who is who? But aren't we cute? And this one 
is a photograph of us on our mum and dad's knees. Aren't we cute there as well with our mouths open and wide eyes? We were just lovely children. We really were. And this one is when we were cowboys. Look at that. That's really, really good as well. And you know the wonderful thing with all these photographs, guys, is that many years ago, um, God spoke to me and he said that, John, pray for your family and joy because I've got the wall in my hand. So I know that when my brother eventually passed away, although it was incredibly sad and we mourned and mourned and mourned for a very long time, I knew that he'd gone to be with Jesus. And I also know that when I eventually pass away, I will see him again. And so with the rest of the family. So I just want to impress upon you to ask you that when you know someone you love who's going to pass away, do mourn for them, but in the hope that they will be with Jesus. So if you and your members of your family or friends love Jesus, then be joyful to know that when they eventually pass away, one day you will see them again because they will be with Jesus. And when you eventually pass away, which hopefully is a very long time, you will then be with them as well again. So, yes, we can mourn, we can be sad that our loved ones are no longer with us. But one day we will be with them again in the arms of Jesus. And that's the best thing to hope for, to know that we will see them again. So it won't be a thing that we will never see them again. We will see them again. But don't be like Bellamy. Don't hold everything in. Don't pretend that everything's all right when you're really feeling sad. But let it out. Let your feelings be shown, because that's what God wants us to do. And he will bless us through it, through our sadness, through our grieving, through our mourning. God will bless us and he will really look out for us and he will look after us and help us to get strong again. He will give us his strength and he will let us be fine again one day so that we become used to it. I'm used to the fact that my brother is no longer here. It doesn't get easier but I know that God is helping me and he's blessing me and keeping me strong and knowing one day that I will see him again. So that's today's God slot. Strange one I know, but um, God will bless us. Those who mourn will be blessed. Thank you.